Hello, students. Today we are going to have an English lesson. The topic of our lesson is investigate and report on the functions of the brain. Question types. Let's begin. In today's lesson, we are going to read a text, watch videos, and revise question types. Look at the words. These words are from the text you are going to read. What do you think they mean? First, let's pronounce the words together. Blood pressure. Body temperature. Skull. Hemisphere. Nerve fiber. Neurologist. Synapse. Neuron. Well done. Match the definitions to the words. Pause the video to do the task. Scan the QR code to do the task and check yourself. You will read the text one brain or two. Look at the title. What do you think the text is going to be about? As you know, for biology lessons, our brain is divided into two hemispheres, left and right. Each hemisphere controls different parts of our body and is responsible for our different skills. Let's read the text to find more information on the topic. One brain or two? Although the brain is often compared to the CPU in a computer, in reality, it is far superior and far more complex. Underneath a protective skull, the brain appears to be separated into two halves, the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere. But this is not quite true. Information and instructions pass from one side of the brain to the other through the corpus callosum, about 200 to 250 million nerve fibers. Surprisingly, each hemisphere is responsible for the opposite side of the body. For example, information received from our senses on one side of the body is communicated to the opposite hemisphere of the brain. Some scientists think that the two hemispheres control different abilities and behavior. The left side is more related to logic and analysis, while the right is usually considered more creative and imaginative. For artists, such as writers, sculptors and musicians, the right side of their brain is dominant. On the other hand, people that require organization and facts, like scientists and accountants, often have a preference for the left side. It seems that each hemisphere of the brain is useful for certain kinds of processes. For example, the left side of the brain may handle the syntax and vocabulary of language, but the right side controls the accent, speed, and intonation of speech. Neurologists have found that if one side of the brain is removed, the other side can take over some of its roles, such as speech, by creating connections or pathways between brain cells. Will we ever fully understand our own brains? Probably not. However much research we might do, the human brain is probably capable of much more than we will ever discover. You have just read the text one brain or two. Now let's check your understanding. Read the sentences and decide if they are true or false. Let's begin. Sentence one. The human brain controls how the body works. Stop the video to do the task. That is true. Sentence 2. The two sides of the human brain are not connected. What is your answer? That is false. Sentence 3. The right hemisphere controls the left side of the body. That is true. The left hemisphere is dominant in both scientists and sculptures. Don't forget to stop the video. That is false. Sentence 5. 
both sides of the brain play a role in our use of language. This sentence is correct. Good job! In the text you have just read, there are two questions. It's an amazing organ, isn't it? Will we ever fully understand our own brain? What types of questions are they? Today we are going to discuss question types. There are several question types in English, but we shall speak only about four of them. Yes, no or general questions, WH questions, tag questions and rhetorical. Now watch the video to learn how to form these types of questions. How do we form yes or no questions in the simple present or past? First, we use do, does, or did. Do and does are for the simple present, and did is for the simple past. After that, we use the subject and the base form of a verb. Do you know the time? Yes, I do. Did you study? No, I didn't have time. How do we form questions with WH words? WH words include what, which, when, who, where, why, and how. To form a WH question, we put the WH word first. Then we can use do, did, or will. Do is for the simple present, did is for the simple past, and will is for the future. After that, we use the subject and the base form of a verb. Excuse me, where does the bus stop? How will you travel to class tomorrow? Rhetorical questions. Usually, a rhetorical question doesn't need any answer. The answer is obvious both to the speaker and to the listener. When we use them, we want to emphasize the idea or to make the audience get interested in the topic of our conversation. We, uh, they also can summarize the content of a paragraph. The example of a rhetorical question is this. Will we ever fully understand our own brain? We don't need any answer. Tag questions are short questions that we put at the end of a statement. We use tag questions when we want someone to confirm or agree with something that we think is true. In tag questions in the simple present, we use do or does plus the subject. He likes apples, doesn't he? In tag questions in the simple past, we use did plus the subject. They went to the picnic, didn't they? When a statement is positive, its tag question is negative. They live here, don't they? Here are some more examples. You teach in the evenings, don't you? Yes, I do. They went to the party, didn't they? Yes, they did. Let's have some practice. Name the type of questions. Stop the video after each sentence to have time to do the task. Wouldn't be it great to be happy all the time? Stop the video. It's a rhetorical question. We can learn some uh, so much more about the brain, can't we? Stop the video. It's tag. Why do we sleep and dream? Stop the video. It's WH question. Does your brain work better in the morning? Stop the video. It's yes or no or general questions. Good job, guys! Let's have some more practice. Scan the QR code, follow the link and do the task. Divide the sentences according to the four question types. Today at the lesson you have read the text. You have watched some videos, you revised four question types. You did great job today. Thank you for your lesson. Goodbye.